Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on FX post-processing in Twinmotion, giving creators greater control over the look and feel of their scenes. Let's take a look at the newest updates in Twinmotion 2025.2. In your project, navigate to the Ambiance tab. You will see that the entire filter system in the FX tab has been reworked to offer greater flexibility and improved visual quality. Here under LUT, short for lookup tables, you have standard, where you can select from Twin Motion's selection of lookup tables, and also custom, where you can import your own. Underneath, you now have the ability to control the intensity of the lookup tables applied to your scene. Just below, there is now a dedicated category named effects. All parameters are fully exposed, allowing for complete customization of styles. There are a few presets available for you to use, or you can customize your own. Let's walk through the effects available. First, you have style, allowing you to enable a paint mode with intensity, stretch ratio, and detail preservation, followed by flat colors for either a single color or the colors already in your scene. Next is outline, which gives the tune effect around the geometry in your scene. Below outline is hatching, giving you sketch options for straight lines, wavy lines, and dots, all with a range of settings for curating your desired look. Then we have halftone, a simple but powerful style with scale and randomness. And last but not least, there is paper, allowing creators to establish a style for the canvas itself. Here, you can pick a type of paper and curate a grid as well. Now, let's take a look at how we can bring these together to achieve a desired look and feel. So say we want a monochromatic, painterly aesthetic for our cabin here. I'll create a new image by selecting the Media tab, selecting the plus sign to create a new image and then go over to the ambiance on the top right hand side of the scene graph. From here, I will go to FX and to change color tones, I'll pick a lookup table. Next, I'll go down, enable the effects and enable the paint style. Here, I will curate the settings of it. Now, I want to add a little bit more detail to the painterly look, and that is through the paper effect. I'll make sure this is enabled, select canvas, play with the opacity, and here I am happy with this setting. Now what's nice is I have full control of this look. If I wanted to save this style and use it again, no problem. Under the effects section, we can select custom next to presets and hit the plus button, which will save all of the presets that have been curated in the FX panel for your use in the future. These non-realistic rendering effects can be used for final stylized imagery and animations, or for pre-visualization purposes. The update places a strong emphasis on painterly and sketch style effects that creators can take advantage of to create unique or desired effects. We can't wait to see the future stylized creations from Twinmotion users.